Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticker symbol HCMC. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a huge opportunity there is for HMC going into the future. We're also going to be again talking about the drop in price, just a quick summary for those of you who don't know yet. We're also going to be talking about how a share buyback can affect HMC and then also other matters as well, also looking at the short data. So as always guys, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you want to show your support for HMC, Make sure to smash that like button down below. Again, none of this is financial advice. Do take what I've said, Graham Salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, a TLDR, if you haven't watched my previous video and you want to know why pretty much the price for HMC is hitting 0.004, essentially, the ICOs ban does. Well, and you know, and will have a negative effect in HMC in terms of we are limited to an extent of how much money we could potentially get from the whole lawsuit. Now, it's nothing detrimental, you know, there's still leeways around this, nothing is confirmed yet. But as of right now, you know, that is the main reason for why the price is dropping. But again, you know, it's nothing too detrimental for HMC. Always do your own due diligence, guys, and not just, you know, take off what I say, what other people say. Make sure you do your own research. I'm just here to give you guys the insight into things. But let's talk about some questions first. And let's talk about something that is really impressive. So I actually saw this on stock tweets, and, you know, this is something that was actually possible. So you can see here is a screenshot of someone who gained over $1 million in HMC. They have 194 million shares of HMC. Now, you may think that it's not possible, but if you had that shares and we go back and fast kind of backtrack all the way due, you know, to this February time, at up around, you know, this price of 0 0.005 to all the way to 0 0.0065, you know, at that area, when you have this amount of shares, you are looking at gains at that level. So this is huge. Now, this guy didn't actually sell, but you know, there were multiple people back then who had this amount of, you know, shares and that, and they took profit on this and that's why we saw the price dropping. So it's obviously again, you know, clearing up why we saw the price drop. Now, what this is actually showcasing, firstly, is two reasons. Firstly, profit taking is always healthy. Don't ever be scared of profit, profit taking. If you're scared, you're going to miss out on more kind of profit. You just don't have to take off all your shares. You can obviously take partial shares you know he pretty much only put in 20k for this whole position even if he took out 200k that is still a 10x um, you know return and he still would have 800,000 left onto that um hmc shares and so you know profit taking is always healthy so don't worry about that but secondly this shows how big of an opportunity we have now obviously this guy probably bought around in at potentially the 0 0.001 level but maybe even at the 0 0.004 level and so again this is showcasing how much potential you can have going into the future going in for hmc from this particular screenshot if we were to see prices going up to that 0 0.0065 which in the future is actually highly possible then we could be seeing that price again now there's another reason why i personally think we can reach that particular price firstly you guys gotta understand right now because of this recent sell-off we are actually getting rid of more shorts we are getting rid of more panic sellers again nothing is wrong with you selling your your shares again there is nothing wrong however it does means that you know we are looking at a stronger foundation essentially we're flushing out the ones that don't have too much or you know having their faith breaking down little by little and we are having the one that is determined and convicted by HMC where they're gonna hold on to it. And so this is actually lowering the percentage base of the amount of shareholders. And again, if we lower that percentage, essentially everyone who's gonna get in there will obviously profit when the price go higher because we will be controlling the HMC shares. And so when we do see HMC going up to a higher price, you know, you definitely are able to profit more. Now again, not just financial advice, but also, you know, this is not confirmed. All I'm saying is that we are in a way getting rid of the shorts and the panic sellers. But let's answer one of the questions. And so I, again, I saw this on stock tweet as well. Now stock tweets on stock tweets, we have over 86,000 people following um, HNC. And so I tend to always get new view, new viewers per video. I know there are returning viewers as well. And so maybe some people have already heard this question, but I want to answer. And if this particular person is watching this video, I hope this does answer your question. So essentially he was saying if HMC was to buy back $5 million in shares, so around 10 billion shares and retire them, how would that help the stock price? Also, so let's answer that first. And you know, I hate to break it to you, but right now 10 billion shares really won't do that much for HMC because we are looking at over 300 billion outstanding shares. 10 billion, you know, doesn't even equate to 10% of that. It only equates to around 3% of the total amount of outstanding shares. Getting rid of that, won't 
actually help in a way in terms of won't actually do the thing we think it will by retiring shares but it does actually give a positive insight it does give a positive signal because if they were to start buying back shares it would indicate a signal that the company is actually interested in buying back shares and retiring them and we will see more people be i see that as an incentive to come back into hmc and so if in terms of how would this particular five million shares um five million dollars in shares buyback and um, retire help them well it wouldn't help them by what we think it would again i made a video explaining that if you guys want to go check that out go feel free to check that out i'll be making another video soon explaining it more in depth but essentially it does give a signal in terms of that they are looking in opportunity to buy back hmc shares and kind of sell off uh, and retire hmc shares and so this will actually cause an incentive for people to buy back in to hmc and now further on he asks this question also if the price goes they should be able to raise more money instead of giving it away for free i don't know just asking so i'm not too sure in terms of what he says here but i think essentially he's saying that isn't the incentive for hmc to actually get their share price up because if the share price were to be up they are able to raise more money which is essentially what they did when we see um the price at around this level obviously um you know we saw the price go to 0.028 at one point and so essentially that is what something that we are seeing and yes it's obviously it always is the incentive for a company to raise their price in shares but what HMC can do is obviously improving the company improving the lawsuit aspect and because of that they are naturally going to see their price going up but essentially if we were to see a signal such as buying back shares and retiring them that would be extremely good for hmc now i do want to bring up something and that was said by other people and this is said by some of viewers of mine essentially you know what some people are saying again none of this this is actually said by a viewer so this is not me but essentially what some people are saying is that we could potentially see hmc going down to that 0.002 or maybe even that 0.001 again but that's actually good for hmc because of the fact is that we are just flushing them out because if you have a long-term view for hmc you'll know that buying at 0.001 with what opportunity they have is actually extremely good now to an extent i do agree to that because i feel like if they were to go to 0.001 then actually they are very undervalued for a company because people are obviously not respecting the fact that they have 29 million dollars in cash with that amount they are definitely able to do a lot of things and if we do see the share price going down to 0.001 that will drastically decrease the market cap of hmc and with that with the 29 million they are then able to buy back more shares and retire them and which again could be a strategy of this and so that's why i think there are actually multiple positive signals if the price were to drop further again we don't obviously want to see the price drop further i know a lot of people don't because they are already losing money however i'm saying that there are obviously good aspects of hmc price dropping down to that lower level and again guys you know if you guys still are interested in hmc and still are interested for the long term again you know don't take what i say for, as, as financial advice but there is always averaging down your cost obviously i know a lot of people kind of and if you again always use money you are willing to lose you're willing to kind of throw away so don't worry about that but essentially you know you can always average down um your cost where you're going down to 0.005 and such and that will obviously help out um your position because when we do see HCMC go up, you know, it could have a jump to 0.07, it could have that jump to 0.009, and that would drastically bring back your portfolio because that will already be, as you guys can see here, kind of an 85% movement, and hopefully would obviously help offset your losses or maybe even increase your gains in HMC just a bit more. And in terms of thinking, why would price jump from 0.005 to 0.009 again we have earnings coming out very soon now it does say here that the earnings have come out but i can't find anything again if you guys can find the earnings make sure to link it down below but also we have the lawsuit news coming up you know going into december we have the ptab review which could of you know positively help and you know affect hmc going in kind of also in december we could potentially be seeing a reply from the judge and that will obviously help out hmc and also another reason like i said guys obviously is because of the ico spans that has caused the price to drop if we were to see you know pm obviously appealing for this and actually get the appeal um you know confirmed and get the lift the ico's ban then because of that the technically you know if the reason for why hmc is dropping is because of the ico's ban then if the ICO span were to be uplifted, then technically we should be seeing HMC going up as well. And so, you know, there are just multiple things that 
would obviously help you if you were to average down your shares and if the share price were to go up obviously you are then able to you know kind of like i said again offset your losses mitigate your losses and you know just a lot of positive things averaging down your positions is always a healthy thing to do obviously in a company that you believe in don't just average down because you are scared and you want to kind of make back some losses if only you believe in this company then should you you know think about averaging down on that particular position Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about your and Comment down below what you want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.